This is Kathleen Baker Pittman. I am a printmaker and a painter. I also do a little bit of fiber arts and installations and assemblages. And this is Una Platica. I know a lot of artists have been asked the question, when did they know they were an artist? And I thought about that, and I think that I knew I was an artist when I actually asked my mother, when did she know I was an artist? And she stopped and she said, you were always an artist. Um, some of my probably major influences would be Georgia O'Keeffe. Of course, I've always liked the Renaissance artist, Michelangelo. Um, Etc. Um, when I got into printmaking, then I started looking at artists that are involved in print, like Durer, um, more modern printmakers also, and you know, made an effort to learn a lot of different um, aspects of printmaking, because there are quite a few. And that's it. <laughs> The impact, when I think of impact, I think of when I was te when I'm teach, and I've recently retired. So that's like a major impact, even if I feel like my students are not going to be artists. I feel like just being involved in the arts, at least for a class or two, opens them up to so many other aspects um, in their educational career and in their life, even if it is just having more of an appreciation for art as, you know, as they mature and to adulthood. Um, change, I think, would be in the ongoing efforts to have more women recognized and not necessarily involved, because I think a lot of women are involved in arts and visual arts specifically here, but the recognition. And part of that, became I became really aware of that when we were doing a women's history exhibit at UTSA in the late 80s or early 90s, and I realized I had a art history book, Jansen's History of Art, that I had purchased in the 70s that had no female artist in it at all, zero. I was really amazed, I didn't believe it. I went back and looked at the book and that ended up being part of the exhibit. So basically that would be the change I'd like to see, the more recognition for female artists. exhibition ex, uh, opportunities for number one. Um, I actually ran a nonprofit printmaking studio for 20 years and it was a direct result is interaction with um, Ramon Vasquez y Sanchez, who was one of the originators of the Central Cultural Arts Lawn, to take our idea and form a nonprofit and printmaking studio. So we had along with Lee Green, we had a printmaking studio, Stone Metal Press, for almost 20 years, which I think opened up a lot of eyes in San Antonio to printmaking and collecting prints. And of course, we got to meet a lot of people from all over the country and actually all over the world as a result of doing a jury show. But definitely the arts organizations are extremely important to San Antonio. I guess, well, actually, probably the favorite is the diversity. There is, there's so much, and I've kind of sometimes halfway complained that there's like always too much going on, so you have to kind of pick and choose. So we have two amazing museums, we have numerous arts organizations, um, different exhibits going on all the time, and I probably, probably more things than I can like 
we'll run out of time. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I think there's, there's, that's the, diver the diversity of it. Keep making art. And also, I think actually an important part is to is keep learning. Um, I'm, I mean, I have two degrees in art, but I'm still doing workshops. I come across a new material. I mean, I just went to Ireland and did a week-long workshop using a different kind of ink than I normally use, which is soy-based ink, which is amazing, amazingly great. Um, plus, I get to go to Ireland. <laughs> but it's just, I, I will fold those into what I'm already doing. Um, and But it changes, and it's never too late to learn new techniques and working with, actually part of it too is if you're doing a workshop, you're working with another group of artists and you, it's great to bounce ideas off of each other, you know, look at their work, they look at your work, get input, you know, how you can make it better, that kind of thing. So you, always, you take that with you, so you can never quit learning and never quit practicing. Okay, the, the painting of the flower is actually a flower of my orchid tree. It's a Hong Kong orchid tree, which unfortunately is going to go away because it doesn't survive the freeze. But it's kind of like I did it as a remembrance of that flower, I mean of that tree. So it's acrylic on canvas, um, much larger obviously than the flower. Um, I got into flowers because Partly from the influence of George O'Keefe, although I started painting large flowers before I knew who George O'Keefe was. So one of my professors in college actually said, do you know George O'Keefe? So I, stood, you know, I became aware of her. So I, I tend to do that and really focus in on an individual flower. So that's an example of one of my flower paintings. Okay, the second piece is a woodcut that I did at a steamroller print event at UTSA. And that's where you do the image area of the flower is two foot by four foot. And so we literally print them with a steamroller. And I then took it one step further and made it into a wall hanging uh, by adding some fabric to it and quilting it. One of my sisters does quilting so it kind of was like a little evolution. I went, okay, I want to do, I want to take it to something to the next level. So I have a, a kind of a series going of that. So this is, this is the first one. So this was actually a print that I did went at Stone Metal Press on paper, and then UTSA started doing the um, steamroller print there, like during spring break, and I took my own fabric and did that, and then I went, okay. And so I, I ended up making it into a wall hanging. So at this point I have three different flowers um, that I've done in this manner. So, or am I working on the third one? I can't remember. <laughs> I have the iris, the tulip. So I'm working on the third one now. It hasn't been quilting yet, which is a thistle. So kind of combining that's where the fiber comes in, combining the printmaking and fiber.